And I guess, what's the feedback Vietnamese been like, side. maybe different from the GNOME and the KDE side? Absolutely different between the two sides right. and absolutely mixed feelings. Mm -hmm. um, also, a difference between the two communities, between private uh, feedbacks and public feedbacks. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have a balance. Um, I, I can't say on the two communities uh, who is taking it more in a positive way and who is taking it more in a negative way. Mm -hmm. I really can't say. Not that I don't want. But really we knew it. Say. Pietro we and knew I knew it when we had this idea and this discussion and this plan. We stopped there for a minute and we thought, ooh... Like we're steering, like with it's not the intent, mm -hmm. but it's going to steer some trouble. Like not wh whenever you try to change something, you know that, yeah, you know, oh, it's very unlikely that one hundred percent of the people will go. Ooh, let's go, right? <laughs> so we knew that it was not going to be easy. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that Pietro and I are in open source for uh, uh, doing easy things. <laughs> so we thought, let, let's go, let's do it, let's be kind, let's 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 do it in a positive uh, way. And if it doesn't happen, hey, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I I know so there is the GNOME discourse. Was the discussion with the KD side done in private, or is there a public link, a public discussion for that one as well? There is a cross-posting on the KDE discourse instance, so you will find exactly the same post there. Um, you didn't and link it under your discussion. Do you, if you happen to have the link on hand, I would love to see uh, it. Yes, give me just a second. It's going to be this one. Because I, I have your post pulled up right now on Mastodon, and there is the the link to the GNOME discourse there, so I wasn't sure if that ah, was uh, existed. Probably, yeah, probably I made a tooth about that one and not about the KDE one that mm -hmm. I published later because I thought, okay, I published it in the, on the GNOME discourse. discourse. Mm -hmm. um, could make sense to cross-post it. Mm -hmm. Even if it is a cross-posting, I thought, could make sense to do it. Mm -hmm. And indeed, on the KD one, you see more interaction mm -hmm. on their discourse. You see a specific guy who uh, commented a lot in an absolutely construct um, way. Mm -hmm. I really, really appreciate uh, their comment because um, no one is criticizing without... Um, making it in a, in a constructive dis discussion to mm -hmm. say, hey, uh, did you think about that? Did you consider that? I really, really liked the interaction there mm -hmm. um, and could be interesting for everyone to read that post. Mm -hmm. uh, the one on the GNOME instance has some comment, is not as active as the KDE one, mm -hmm. still interesting maybe. Um, and on Mastodon, there has been some activity from community uh, people. Um, that's more hard interaction, let me say. What has been brought It's social media. More... Yeah, exactly. Um, personally, I didn't have, um, like discussion on matrix with mm -hmm. KD um, community. Mm -hmm. I got some DM on discourse. Uh, so still on probably on, on KD side, that platform is preferred and I like it. Mm -hmm. um, on GNOME has been easier for me as a GNOME member to get sure. more in touch with GNOME members. Mm -hmm. So I've got the chance to talk with someone. Um, I have to say, I spoke with people who 
reacted um, negatively mm -hmm. to the general idea, saying, hey, why don't we merge it? Uh, based on the experience, based on the uh, communities. But then sitting and talking about the idea, more or less like we are doing, they said, oh, in this way, I like it. Mm -hmm. So I believe it's really a matter of wanting to know more and accepting to sit for a moment and try to read the document and get what we want to say mm -hmm. without starting with the opinion, I'm that community and I want to be that community, period. Mm -hmm. These guys want to destroy it. No, try to sit, read it, think about it, imagine what it means, and then get back to us. Mm -hmm. You still not agree? Totally fine. But don't start with an opinion. Mm -hmm. Try to elaborate it. Yeah, I I initially read the uh, the read the proposal and I thought it was a good idea. I'm <laughs> I, I I don't really get the idea of it being a like this is what I I I I kind of understand where people are coming from, and I think this is a lot of the tension that's been allowed to grow between KDE and GNOME, where again a lot of the people who are in the GNOME ecosystem don't interact with KDE people. KDE people don't interact with GNOME people. So it's allowed people to sort of create these ideas in their head of what the other people are going to be like. You know, you can think of this for anything in the world. People are going to be tribal, yeah. whether it's a sports yeah. team, whether it's a desktop, a Linux distro. If you don't have this, this cross discussion, people are going to create their own ideas in the head of what these people are like. Yes. There's one example that I have, um, and uh, I wasn't there, but I helped uh, organize some of these. At, and actually, it happened at LAS, uh, Linux App Summit, a few years ago in Brno, I think. Mm -hmm. And there were discussions on, hey, this event is happening when actually Ubuntu is releasing. And, and Ubuntu was there with the booth. We should do something around it, like, you know, have some fun. And and then we thought, oh, actually, Fedora is releasing the same week. Mm -hmm. So, and Fedora people are going to be there. Let's reach out to the Fedora people and see if they want to hang out together. It's the spirit of LAS mm -hmm. to come together and talk about Linux as friends. Let's show the world that we don't hate each other and we're not fighting. It's it's a construct of the socials and in and, and the internet. And so if you, you will find pictures on X for sure, I don't not, don't remember Mastodon, uh, but there was a cake and half of the cake was orange uh, with Ubuntu logo, half of the cake was blue with Fedora, and there were pictures of very happy people cutting the cake together and, and, and having fun together. So that's exactly the spirit that uh, uh, we would like to spotlight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wish it was a triangle with some Suze, or maybe it becomes a very messy cake with too many colors, but hey, it's fine. <laughs> No, I, I fully agree with this, and I I understand where you guys are coming from with this idea. I hope, I do hope that this can happen, and I hope that, I, I hope that the people who do have issues with it can maybe get something of value out of listening to this and hearing what you guys are proposing here. It's not, again, it's not, like you said, it's not trying to destroy what was done with Guardec and Academy. It's not trying to compromise between the two events and make them both worse, but have them happen together. It's about trying to... It's about trying to, you know, people say the Linux community, but there's not really a Linux community as it currently stands, there's a lot of individual sub-communities that all happen to use Linux, 
And we all share that thing in common. We all share the fact that, okay, maybe there's, there's, um, there's some BSD people. Okay, fine. The BSD people can get involved as well. But most of us are using Linux. <laughs> and, um, you know, we, we care about free and open source software. There, there you go. There we go. There's our common point. <laughs> we all care about free and open source software. And if you actually talk to people who are in these other projects, if you get involved with them, you realize that you share a lot of things in common, even if the method of getting to your goals are a little bit different. Absolutely agree. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for, uh, you know, for doing this. I appreciate it.